Mike Gersbeck. Good evening, folks. Well, it seems March Madness is going to be much less spirited due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Now, earlier today, the NCAA administrative staff made an unprecedented move. The NCAA's men's and women's basketball tournaments will not have spectators. Officials say after consulting with public health officials and coronavirus advisors, the games will be closed to the public. Now, the public health emergencies has led to most of the other conferences in the country to close fan access to their respective tournaments. Here you see them on your screen. The Big Ten tournament in Indianapolis is now closed. In Las Vegas, the Pac-12 is closed. In the ACC, the doors will close to the general fans in the Greensboro, North Carolina area. It's the same story with the Big 12 in Kansas City a short time ago. In fact, the SEC closed the remainder of their tourney to fans in Nashville, Tennessee. And tonight, our next star affiliate in Raleigh, North Carolina, got reactions from basketball fans attending the ACC tournament in Greensboro. But I think it's probably the right move, you know, for for the whole. Um, at the end of the day, I want to see Carolina win, but you know, I'd, I'd rather be able to go see the games next year too. I think it's totally overblown. Uh, I, I think the public health officials are doing what they do by textbook. And in tonight's first round of the SEC tournament in Nashville, this would be the final games in which fans are allowed to watch the contest in person. At this time, Arkansas is leading Vanderbilt 78 to 66 with around a minute left in that game. And in an earlier contest this evening, Georgia throttled Ole Miss 91 to 59. The Dogs' Anthony Edwards led all scorers with 22 points. Tomorrow afternoon, Georgia will meet Florida. That follows Alabama, Tennessee, which tips off at noon. And in the National Basketball League tonight, this was a scene in the Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City. Just before tip off, the public address announcer went on the loudspeaker saying the decision was made to postpone the game due to unforeseen circumstances. ESPN reports Utah Jazz player Rudy Gobert tested positive for the coronavirus. A short time ago, the NBA announced that this season is indefinitely postponed after tonight. 